Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. I am excited today. Um, I had to harvest basil. It was going to flower if I didn't. And as I've told you before, um, once the any of the herbs start to flower, well, most of them, the medicinal and the culinary herbs, um, and this one does have a little flower on it, but uh, it loses its robust flavor and the flavor changes in it. So I wanted to get this basil harvested and do something with it before that happened. So I've got a couple of things I want to show you today. Um, they're delicious and they're, uh, one is a way to preserve it and use it later in the winter. And one is uh, a recipe how to make something to use. You can use this on fish, you can put it on a baguette and just eat it. It is absolutely delicious. I actually tasted this in a restaurant and decided to come home and try to make something similar myself. So uh, let's get started. All right, I have pulled the leaves off of uh, the basil to make about a half a cup, I mean a cold cup, uh, pressed down in here. So I'm gonna add those to my food processor. And then I'm gonna do about oh, two tablespoons of minced garlic. And this I, I purchased already minced um, at the store, so if you have fresh garlic, you can use that too. It just doesn't matter. This is really easy when you wanna do something fast. And I'm gonna put about a half a cup of pine nuts. Now, you can use pecans or something different or um, English walnuts if you want. I just love pine nuts. Unfortunately, they're so high priced. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle those around in there, but this is incredible. Then I'm gonna get olive oil. I have a nice grate of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and I'm gonna put in here, well, I'm gonna start with probably a half a cup, um, and we're gonna blend that up and see where we're at. All right. I'm going to pulse it. All right, I'm going to get everything off of the edges here. And I'm going to add a little more oil to it. Oh, that smells so good. And we're going to use about a half a teaspoon of salt. I'll show you the consistency when I'm done. It's amazing. Tastes just right. Might add a little bit more oil. I like it to be pretty oily so you can spread it easily. Okay, I'm going to take my out, my blade out, and I'll just mix this around a little bit. This is what it looks like. And that is so flavorful. And you can, like I said, you can put a little dab of it beside a steak. You can put it on bread, toast. Um, you can dip pita crackers in it. That's delicious. In fact, that's how I had it when I had it um, at a restaurant or something similar to this. So this is very delicious. So I'm gonna put this in a jar. Um, this will store in your refrigerator for at least a couple weeks. And it probably won't last that long here. Um, all right. This is what we have. This is what it looks like. So you can see the consistency. It's pretty runny. But uh, little toasted baguettes or pita chips dipped in that are amazing. Um, I want to encourage you to try this if you've never tried anything like that before. You can actually add more nuts. You can add more basil. You can... Um, add more oil, more garlic, however you like it. Just whatever works and tastes the best to you. But 
I love this recipe and I use it a lot. Actually, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to preserve some basil for winter use also. Okay, this is what it looks like. You can kind of see the consistency. There is no right or wrong with this. It's whatever you like. Um, and you know, you can add more basil, you can add more nuts, you can add more garlic, however you want. It's just all flavor. It's just a little jar of pure flavor. I am had it originally on pita chips. And that's what I have it on today. That is so good. Tastes like summertime. I hope you try this. Okay, now we're going to learn how to preserve basil for winter use. Besides drying it, I have a lot of dried basil. And it does kind of lose some of its flavor when you dry it. And I have all this beautiful basil, so I want to put it, preserve it in such a way that I can use it in the winter and have that robust flavor still. So I'm going to show you how I do that. All right, so I had a bundle of basil here, and I am pulling the leaves off, and I am stuffing them into my food processor as many as I can get in there you know if you have any damaged leaves or anything don't use those but um, okay I think we're done with that put it on the processor and we are going to add olive oil today we seem to be using quite a bit of olive oil <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna, it's more of a consistency, not a measurement, so I just want to get it where it's pourable. And I'm gonna pulse this. Until it's all incorporated, and I'm gonna add a little more oil. so that it will um, all pulse up the same size. I want it to all be consistent in there. So I'm actually going to add a little bit more oil. This isn't like something that there's a right and wrong. It's just whatever you want it to be. And uh, I want it to be easy to spoon into this ice cube tray. Okay, I think I like that. Take out. It looks like you have a lot. I'm going to grab a spoon. And then uh, once you pulse it up, it doesn't look like near as much, but you can divide it up into your ice cube tray, um, however you want. You can use little or a lot. Just be sure that you get evenly distribute the oil as you're doing it. This works out great when you want just a little bit of fresh basil for your pasta in the winter time. You can also add garlic to this. I'm not, but you can. And then there's that much already, you know, already in there and you, uh, when you take a cube of this out, you would just throw it in your skillet when you're cooking your pasta, you know, pasta dish at whatever point you wanted, but we're going to freeze these up. Doesn't look like I'm going to have a full tray in here. That's all right. It doesn't matter. I actually thought I probably wouldn't have enough room, but that is not the case. So far I have 10, 10 cubes. I want to get all of it out of here though, because that is just so much flavor in here. And even if one of the cubes turns out smaller than the rest, that's okay too. Scrape down. I can get a hold of it. Actually, it looks like we have nine. 
nine cubes. That'll be, you know, enough basil for nine wonderful dishes in the winter. And it'll taste fresher than if you dried it. I have dried basil, I use dried basil, but there's something about fresh basil. So, okay. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna put this in the freezer. And after it's all frozen, I'm going to break this apart and then just put these cubes in a bag. And as I want to use them through the winter, I will pull them out and use them in my dishes. So thanks for joining me. If you like this, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks, for, thanks again for being in my kitchen today. Bye.